before Adele swept the 54th Grammy Awards, taking home six Grammys, she's also taken home an Oscar for her work on Skyfall, before she had to cancel a string of tours and undergo vocal surgery, before there was the international manhunt to identify the man who broke Adele's heart and inspired songs like Rolling in the Deep and Someone Like You, Adele's mother experienced her own heartbreak when the father of Adele left the family when she was only a toddler. Adele grew up obsessed with music, first with pop acts like the Spice Girls and Pink. Later she took an interest in R&B stars like Aaliyah and Mary J. Blige. Later she discovered Etta James and Ella Fitzgerald. But it was Amy Winehouse who inspired Adele to pour her soul out to the world and she would get help from another musician, a former boyfriend who broke her heart prior to her penning the album 21. My name is Michael McGredden documenting the life of Adele prior to fame here for you on Before They Are Famous. Now typically you guys suggest who I should do next in the comments down below. No one asked for Adele, but she's so hot right now I thought I'd do it anyway. So hot right now. Adele Laurie Blue Adkins was born on May 5th, 1988 in Tottenham, located in northern London, England. Her mother Penny was a teenager art student when she became pregnant at 17 with Adele. Her father, a Welsh plumber named Mark Evans, was a womanizing alcoholic who broke Penny's heart. He also walked out on the family when Adele was just a toddler. Now Evans did remain in contact with his daughter up into her teens, but his obsession with alcohol, his health began to deteriorate, so did the relationship. They're no longer on speaking terms. In contrast, her mother, who was between jobs between most of their lives, well, she would encourage her young daughter to not settle for the norm to follow her musical ambitions. Adele began singing at the age of four, stating that she became obsessed with voices. The Spice Girls were her first love and like so many of the youth, Adele would put on shows for her friends and family where she would perform each of the members bits singing their songs and then when Jerry Hallowell left the group, well Adele recalls this being a devastating time in her life. The mother and daughter pair would move around as her mom took work as she could find it. Around this time Adele's interest in music had changed, she was into R&B, she loved Destiny's Child. She also got to see her first live show which was Pink performing at her misunderstood album, concert, whatever. I don't know, at the time Pink was doing r &B. In 2002 at 14, Adele stumbled into the jazz section of her local music store and picked up some Etta James and Ella Fitzgerald CDs. From there she would listen to that music every night for hours on end and she recalls this time being her awakening when it came to music. Then in 2003, Amy Winehouse dropped Frank, another London singer sensation which gave Adele the belief that she too perhaps could make it in music. At least it was enough of a reason for her to give it a go. Adele enrolled in the Brit School of Performing Arts and Tech, a school where Amy Winehouse had previously attended. Her classmates included Jessie J and Leona Lewis with such talented peers. Adele was toying with the idea of becoming a writer and helping managing other acts. She didn't know if she'd be cut out for it. Thankfully her schooling well, it required her to record a three track demo when she had that completed she decided to post it to MySpace. Executives at XL Recordings heard the track, signed her to a record deal and this was just four months after she had graduated. Adele's debut album 19 went on sale in 2008, Hometown Glory and Chasing Pavements were huge hits but it was her much anticipated follow up album 21 that made her the talk of the town. And by town, uh, like I mean like the world. Yeah. Rolling in the deep. I still have it on my phone. Rolling in the deep and someone like you were everywhere, remixed in a million different languages, and everyone connected with her heartbreak anthems. After she picked up six Grammys in 2012, well, she had this to say. This record is inspired by something that is really normal and everyone's been through, just a rubbish relationship. So now the world wanted to know who the hell was the guy who dumped you and inspired these songs? Well people got busy, they decided to track him down, it turns out it was an actor and a musician who goes by the name of Slinky Sunbeam. The relationship it seems was a bit one sided, the two didn't live together and he kept his relationship with Adele quiet amongst his friends. But we can only imagine he wanted a taste of the limelight after the smashing success. He was probably going up to her like, uh, like, okay, I won't take a writer's credit, but how about a royalty for inspiration? And she'd be like, mm, I don't think so, yo. Not yo, she's British. And the rest of the story, well, you know the story. This is Before They're Famous. My name is Michael Crowd. Thanks for checking out my personal channel. I do all sorts of celebrity bios on here. I've done a whole lot of singers like Katy Perry and Beyonce and Miley Cyrus. I've also done a bunch of actors. I've done comedians like Russell Brand, Russell Peters, Jim Carrey, LeBron James. I've done athletes. I got some uh, Lamar Odom this week. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments down below who you want to see next, and I'll see you guys in another video.